and we're back for another full day of Ian. Time is seven o'clock and I have two toast tea with green tea already in it. An Actimel is a probiotic. Um, a little bit of uh, margarine, but it's a light version. Uh, two things more toast. Have more multivitamins, which probably seen on my previous videos. So basically I've got about an hour and a half before I leave the house. So I figured I'm gonna just basically have one of these just to get a bit of protein in. Now I brought this on my previous video and I said I'd give it a taste review. Now I've had a few of these in the week but I'll just show you guys basically what it's like. Now it's quite a different texture as opposed to like other protein bars that I've had. It's quite sticky. It's almost like, I don't know if you ever had the sweets like refreshers, those really old school kind of sweets, like peanuts in there. But it actually tastes quite good. It's very chewy. So me being an idiot, I left it in the fridge just to make it even more chewy and I need took my clip out yesterday but um very decent and there's quite a lot of fiber in here as well so not bad at all i'd probably say as far as protein bars go at least a seven just got another cup of coffee because i've got no pre-workout i'm gonna go to the gym and then i'll show you what i have as my post-workout meal I just realized i've got to go to the barbers for half moment it just texted me that i've got an appointment this morning i completely forgot so i'm gonna quickly go to the barbers first then i'm gonna go to the gym and then i'll come back and hopefully record any food i have so i'll see you in a bit okay i'm back from the gym and i've literally just forgotten that i'm recording a video so somewhere in my bin and i'm not gonna go in there now is just basically one of those samples from my protein. Put it in here, it's coffee caramel flavor, so it's an impact weight, 25 grams. Had about half of it, as you can see. It's actually quite nice. I didn't think a coffee protein powder would be that nice, but it was surprisingly nice. So anyway, going back to what I originally was gonna do. So I went to the hairdressers thinking that obviously I got the dates mixed up as of my text this morning. And I got there and apparently they got the dates mixed up. So um, it was all a bit awkward because I've just sat down on the chair and somebody else has come and he's kind of like, um, what are you doing mate? And I'm like, well, I'm getting my hair cut. And then he's like, but well, it's my appointment. So anyway, apparently his name's Aaron, my name's Aaron. Everyone got confused. Too many Aaron's gone to the same bar as that. Well, not even the same day, different days. But anyway, that's all sold. Haircuts tomorrow, so you're stuck with this. Haven't showered, so it's still a bit pongy. But before I shower, which is still debatable, it's gonna have this. So basically what we've got there is 300 grams of chicken, um, a bag of salad and some grilled tomatoes. Oh and quickly I'm just going to have two yogurts as well from Weight Watchers. Um, they're only like 50 calories or something as well. So uh, I'll see you at the next meal. I'm feeling a really big meal. Um, so I just had one of these. It's a um, zero calorie Lucozade, although it's not actually zero. It's eight calories. They're lying. So just had that. It kind of bloated me a little bit. Kept me ticking over. So I'm going to basically be making some filet of fishes. I'm going to make four of them. All with a slice of cheese in there and some tartar sauce. Again, all the calories and everything else will be on the screen. It's quite a big meal, but um, I'll basically save my calories till now. And then I've got something exciting for dessert. I've seen it in like restaurants and stuff, so I'm gonna try a little thing. I'm gonna try and put a little healthy spin on it as well. So um, stay tuned for the desserts. Now I'm in a happy place right now. I've got some ham sandwiches here, uh, ham salad. That's basically for the wife. So I'm gonna put that over there and I'm gonna go rustle this up now and prepare this for myself. So that's basically what we got. Um, it's around 13, 1400 calories. Basically, I'm gonna go eat this now and enjoy it. So uh, I'll see you for dessert. Okay, dessert time. So what I'm thinking of doing is basically getting this out of my mouth first. It's making an Oreo milkshake. So if anyone's ever been to like places like Byron or anything, they have amazing Oreo milkshakes, but they're about a thousand calories, maybe even more depending on the size you get. So using this and using this, one of these, and some of these. And what I'm thinking is I'm gonna use four Oreos. I'm gonna basically crush two within the whole thing and then I'm gonna break up two, smash them and then kind of add them on top. So basically I'll show you what it looks like in a minute. Oh, and I almost forgot. I'll be using this rather than water because just to make up a little bit more uh, of my calories for the day, so. Um and there we have it. Now that is pretty good. So yeah, basically within this now, I've managed to incorporate two fruits, some whey protein, some milk as well. And then yeah, a little bit of a snack. I'm certainly gonna go and enjoy this. So hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Or oh, no, just hold on. For some reason, I don't know what it is, I'm hungry again. So basically what I'm gonna have, as you can see here, is basically grilled cheese uh, with some ham in there and some Cholula. Okay, so basically that takes me up to 3,425 calories, as you can see there. This was a full day of eating, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you found something useful. Please do hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, and share. Thanks for watching.